Allah in Surah Al Baqarah, the first five verses. There. Allah is telling us, or He's giving us a secret here about those who are rightly guided and the successful ones. He talked about five things in that first five verses. The first thing is Allah said, those who believe in the unseen. When we talk about the unseen, we know Allah himself is unseen. The angels, paradise, hell, genes, creed, which is destiny. You know, this is something that none of us know. And this is something that we have not seen before. But if you believe in these things, then you are one of the believers. You are one of the rightly guided. And secondly, you are someone who performs their salat. And when we come to salat, we have the salat itself, which is the five daily prayer we know. And the rawatos that are attached to this salawat. For instance, Fajr has two, uh, two nawafil before it. Zohor, we have four before it, four after it. And then Asr, we have before Asr, after Asr, no Salah. And then when we come to Maghrib too, we have after Maghrib, we have before Isha, and we have after Isha. So these are the Wawatos that are attached to the Salah. And we have the Nawafil, which is the, for instance, Tahiyatul Masjid, when you enter the Masjid, for the first time, you need to work out. These are all nawafil. This tahaju, the tarawi we offer. These are all nawafil. So if you are performing all these prayers put together, then also you should know that you are one of the successful guided. And then the next thing Allah talk about is spending in the course of Allah. It comes with a whole lot of packaging here. Whether it is zakah, it is charity, spending on your family, the needy. I mean, everything in the course of Allah comes here. What he has blessed you with it, you spend it in the course of him. Then the fourth thing Allah talks about is his books. What was revealed to us and what was revealed before when we combine all the five major books we have. And then the last thing is believing in the hereafter. So if you are someone who believe in all these five things, then Allah is telling you, you are part of the rightly guided and you are also part of the successful ones. May Allah keep us firm to this thing. May Allah guide us all. May Allah increase us in Iman. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.